Tula has been limping coming down the stairs. She's having difficulty jumping up. She's in pain. If your dog's in pain, these are seven remedies you should consider using. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Tula, as you can see, she has a bit of a hard time now coming downstairs. She's about 10. When it comes to jumping up, she used to fly up onto the bed. Now you can see she's kind of thinking about it, like, should I or shouldn't I? I've gone ahead, done a little bit of an exam on Tula, and the sorest part of her is when I'm palpating her lower back. I'm just palpating the muscles adjacent to her spine, and she's a little bit uncomfortable. She kind of flinches, it seems a bit tender. And it's been very consistent. What I think is she's kind of tweaked the back muscle. You know, I've tweaked my back a bunch of times and he's like freaking sore. So yes, I want to give her something now because she's sore. Here are the top remedies I'm going to be consider using. You should too. Number one, CBD, cannabidiol. CBD, it's a great anti-inflammatory, virtually no side effects. And it's also a really good natural painkiller. Skill weighs 20 pounds. Typically, I would be giving her two drops. We're looking at a dose of three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight twice a day. We're gonna double that. So you are gonna be getting four drops, little poodle. And I know after you get these four drops, you are gonna feel so much better. Number two, valerian root. Valerian, it's typically thought of something we use for sedation. When you're trying to get to sleep, get take a shot of valerian. But not only that, it's really helpful at decreasing spasming muscles. Standard dose of the valerian root is about half a mil of a tincture per 20 pounds of body weight twice a day. There's about a half a mil, that'd be two of the dose. Number three, an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drug, ASA, aspirin. Standard ASA aspirin dose is about 325 milligrams per 40 pounds of body weight twice a day. A little Tula, she's 20 pounds. She'll be getting half of one of these tablets twice a day. If your dog is on any other anti-inflammatory like Medicam, Remedel, they can't be on the aspirin as well. If they have underlying organ dysfunction, liver, kidney disease, they shouldn't be on the ASA as well, but if they're in serious pain, then consider using it. Number four, another over-the-counter human medication that is safe for our dogs, Robaxin. I used to use Robaxin a fair amount in practice. It's generally very safe for our dogs. Very few people know about it. When we're thinking of using Robaxin or Methocarbamol, it's when we're dealing with a muscle spasm. We're trying to help your dog with a muscle spasm, similar to what little Tula has. Standard Robaxin doses, about 20 milligrams per kilo. You know, if little Tula, she weighs about 20 pounds, approximately 10 kilos. So we go 20 times 10, that's about 200 milligrams. This here Robaxin, it comes in 500 milligram capsules. So I'd be giving little Tula half of a capsule twice a day. Number five, an awesome anti-inflammatory, great painkiller, 95% curcumin. I've talked about curcumin extensively. It's isolated from the herb turmeric. We're looking at standard 95% curcumin doses of 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight once or twice daily. Just a little Tula away, she's about 20 pounds. Be giving her about 200 milligrams twice a day. You just wanna make sure, number one, that you're giving it with fat so then it can be absorbed. And number two, ideally like this in a capsule formation. We have it here in these little capsules because then I know it's not gonna stain everything orange. Here's a plant you probably haven't heard much about. This plant from South Africa, Devil's Claw. One of its big, big benefits for has helping deal with back pain in particular in people. Really good option for our dog. It's in a liquid formation. It's about a thousand milligrams per capsule. We're looking at pretty typical dog dose, be about a thousand milligrams for 30 pounds of body weight daily. Great little Tula with the devil's claw, it would be one capsule once a day. Last but not least, a topical, really effective, I've discussed it many times, related to garlic, DMSO. So if you're using DMSO to treat your dog's sore back, for instance, I'm just gonna drop it on either side of her spine. I don't know, four or five drops. There we go, a little poodle. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub that in. There. If you have a dog that's in pain, at very least consider some of these remedies. I hope they help, and if they do help, I'd love to hear your feedback. Once again, thanks for watching, it's Dr. Jones.